Hello, welcome back. It's Fred in the shed, literally back in the shed shack. Now, all week I've been playing with this little Malahai SDR radio that Banggood sent me in. Really, really impressed with this. I did do a full review on this radio. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link in the description. Like I say, came from uh, Banggood. Really a nice piece of kit. Really surprised how well this receives. Not only shortwave radio stations and handbands, but it works really well on CB frequencies, on the 11 meter band. Been trying to get some skip on it uh, this week. Haven't really managed too much, but been listening to Pucker Dave in the early morning CB305 group. My God, he's doing really, Recorded really well. a little bit on the Malahai SDR radio. And someone said, on a comment on another 305 video like how civilized and how polite you guys are on the radio and it's true I, I think we are we've got a great group of guys around this area on the 305 it was quite hard work to get it going but it's really rolling now and yet everyone is respectful there's very seldom a crossword very seldom a crossword on on the air and also if you listen to the whole clip you will notice some very dry British humour. Just slips in there, you can't help it. And uh, yeah, you'll pick that up if you watch the whole thing. Gonna shut up now, get on with the video, yeah, finally. Thumbs up from me. If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up below. I do appreciate it. But anyway, this is the early, early morning group on SDR Radio. Cheers, guys, here it comes. Well, we'll uh, have you uh, uh, regularly there. Yeah, I was on the 19 earlier and spoke to uh, uh, Barry and uh, Makita, so she might be about, and uh, well, whether Barry's nodded off again, I don't know. But I'll give, uh, I've got uh, Tim there and Chris, but I think Tim's got a shoot off uh, to the little house on the prairie there, just in case he has an accident. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll, um, and Chris in Ware's out there as well there. Uh, Richard, but I'll give Stan a, a shout. He's on his way down there. Morning, uh, Mr. Stanley in the Banley. Yeah, pucker this way. Thanks, uh, Stan. Hope I find you the same. Yeah, so SDD, mate. Yeah, same old shit, different day. Excuse the language. Yeah, where are you off to today then, Stan? Oh, right, down south, eh? Yes. What sort of job's that? Is that a prolonged uh, sort of job, or will you be back uh, later on? Yeah, Roger on that, yeah. So, uh, anyway, I'll get Richard to give, uh, the, uh, give Stan a call there. So, uh, Richard, give uh, Stanley in the valley a call. Good morning there, Stan. That's because I've got nobody to wake up, mate. I'm all on my own now, so it's all good this way. But uh, glad to hear you're all right, mate, and nice to talk to you. Well, so you know where I am. I'm just uh, by Hatfield Town Centre, and you're crashing through this way. Nines and a Radio 5. There's nothing, nothing to my mobile about you, mate. You actually boom out. That's all you want there. Anyway, I don't want to hog it, so uh, I'll pop back over to Dave. Yeah, cheers there, uh, Richard. Yeah, yeah, you're cracking in now. You must be uh, up the slope and soon be dropping down in the dip into well in there, uh, uh, Stan. Oh, right, then you'll be dropping down into the three-lane uh, the three lane bit and swerving, doing a, a, a nice left to up the hill again. Yeah, right, mate, yeah. We'll just uh, let it go down. I'll be one more and I'll be before we get down to the three-lane bit. Yeah, good show, yeah. Yeah, cheers, Makita. Uh, give uh, Richard a call there in Hatfield. He's out there. 
Thank you very much, Sam Akita. And uh, yeah, Abby's not too bad. She'll still be up here during the daytime, but uh, she's down at home for night time now. So uh, there we go. But uh, nice to speak to you, mate. Yeah, Roger. Well, I'm sure you're asking. You know, I mean, obviously, you get on the radio every day now, or you know, when you want. Uh, you know, we've got to worry about uh, waking anyone up. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good to have you back again, there, Richard. It's nice to be back. Well, so I won't hog it because I know we've got Stan in the van here, out there and we don't want to make him disappear before we get to, say, 73s. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're quite right. You heard his mobile in it. So, uh, yeah, we better hand you back to the day. Station for a coffee? No, not this morning, mate. I'm going to uh, try and beat the traffic round at 25 and then I'll, uh, I'll either stop on the M3 or just before I actually get to the job. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, yeah. You want to uh, you want to uh, uh, go and use a few miles up first. Uh, yeah, because the old traffic will start getting busy, busy, won't it? Yeah, it normally gets busy around the M40. So uh, I'd say there's a lot more traffic today than there was yesterday. It was uh, really quiet yesterday, extremely even. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Some days it's quiet, and other days it's uh, it's manic, isn't it? But there you Jesus go. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, you can. Uh, well, the amount of travelling you do, Stan, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I think, mate. Well, I'm not planning on going too far tomorrow, and then I've got to go up uh, north next week. So uh, I don't think you'll hear much of me next week. Well, certainly not at the beginning of the week, anyway. Oh, Roger on that, yeah. So, uh, well, well, I expect, uh, I expect uh, Mr. 87 Niner here, yeah, but we uh, we might get a bleep of you, and then as you go further north, we'll, uh, you'll disappear there. Anyway, I'll just see if there's anybody else on the side there, and uh, uh, I'll come back to you, Stan, before we, uh, before we uh, start to lose you there. Any other stations on the 305 this morning? Charlie Tango, 061 in company. Ah, oh, morning, Dan. How are you this morning? Yeah, fine, thank you very much. How are you? Yeah, yeah, we're all good this morning there. Yeah, yeah, uh, had a nice meal over at Potter's Bar yesterday, so that was nice. Yeah, it's, um, it's always like being in the country there when you look out the window and you look into the park there. Um, it's um, quite pleasant, but uh, I wouldn't uh, like to have a drinking session there. The, the, the drink isn't cheap, but... Uh, yeah, it's pretty pleasant there. And it's absolutely manic again, so, uh, yeah, we'll soon be round at Park Street, so uh, round about, I think it's called. Yeah, did you, uh, did you manage to find somewhere to uh, have some breakfast yesterday when you got down to Edgware early? No, do you know what? I've never been to a place like Edgware where the cafes are not open until 8 o'clock. It's ridiculous. Oh dear, yeah, that's not uh, that's a bit inconvenient, that. Um, you, you'll have to complain. <laughs> Perhaps you could find them um, McDonald's or something. Nah, mate, I'd rather go without, to be honest, uh, Dan. Maggie Dees is not. Uh, good morning, uh, Makita. Yeah, good morning, uh, Dan. Good to see you this morning. Yeah, you're coming through Road and Clear, um, as usual. And uh, how's things at your way? Yeah, sorry, go again. Yeah, how's things? How's everybody in your place? Everybody okay? Yeah, things are good this way. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for asking. I trust that everything's good your way as well. Yeah, yeah, we're at war with the uh, furry creatures down here, but uh, yeah, everything's okay. Thank you very much for asking. And uh, when I'm on here, I'll, uh, I'll say good morning, Tim. Uh, I suppose you're not on the radio, but uh, good morning anyway. And um, good morning, Richard. Uh, how are you this morning? All good this way, Dan. Thank you very much. And uh, no more buzz with my audio, which is a which is a result, mate. Yeah, good, good. You come through um, loud and clear. Well, you're very loud for some reason. I can't think why. It's uh, could be something to do. In fact, I'll ask Dave or uh, okay, Dave. 
Dave, uh, audio any clearer to you today? Yes, lovely. Yeah, no noise at all there. Yeah, no buzzing, no nothing there. Yeah, I uh, had a, got an average there. Yeah, obviously, uh, that's done the trick. No problems at all there. Oh, excellent. Anyway, I'll just uh, give uh, another call out, folks. Uh, what about it, Uncle Barry? You got your ears on? No, he's uh, gone back to sleep again. <laughs> oh dear, he's a case, isn't he? Uh, good to hear him this morning, anyway. But uh, anyway, no, uh, obviously not. <laughs> oh dear, we're crazy, we are, aren't we? But there you go, I love it. <laughs> What gets me up in the, I don't think anything else gets me up apart from the radio there, Richard. That's too much information there, Dave. That's what them blue pills are for. What about old Neil? No, I think it's a bit too uh, uh, too early for Neil. He's most probably taken advantage of it being uh, nice and light. But I will give him a call, actually. Uh, zero 02, are you by? Yeah, 